everyone. Today I'm going to be doing another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial video. And this one's going to be about how to make a how to make a custom gun. Well, more more so how to make a gun, how to add gun functionality if you already have a model a model of a gun made. Like how to add it to Unreal Engine 4 and make it shoot and stuff cuz they're the uh, the kitty term or the newbie term so let's get started so first you want to find your first person character blueprint and open it I'm in a fresh game I'm in a fresh first person game character first person first person blueprint game but I don't know how we would do this with a third person one uh, so because I work with first person games so, uh, sometimes so what you want to do is open your first person template and uh, delete here go to viewport and then delete the gun the arm and then the, and then the other gun and then click the down arrow beside compile and jump and click and check jump to error note and actually you don't have to do this no click never and then now click click and now click compile and then it'll show you the error thing and then you want to delete both of these and then click compile again and it'll show you another error and delete it and then delete the other one same as ever for every error and then delete this error attach to component error and then you're all compiled so now you can start working with the game with the guns and stuff so what you want to do is when this is done loading you want to find you want to click in Oh, cool. You want to click import. And then you want to find your find your .fbx file for your for your blender for your blender um for your blender for your blender 3D model. And then in, and then double click it and then click import. And then click clear for this and then close that box. And then now and then now go back into the first person character blueprint and then go to viewport and then now you see the moon whatever it's called mine's machine gun and drag it into the first person thing and now it'll look big but we're gonna scale it so you wanna go up here to the scale thingy and now you wanna scale it down about the size that you want it I'm gonna scale it down to this a wee bit more and now you want to rotate it over toward towards that it's still a little big so you still want to scale it down Ooh, that's a lot small and now you want to position it just right in front of the camera just any way you want in the ca in front of the camera so now you want to compile it control s we're not done yet. So now you want to go to. So now you want to go to play, or you don't have to play. But as you can see, the gun is here and it's big and humongous because I haven't scaled it down enough. But it's here, but it doesn't shoot or anything. So what you want to do first of all is put the machine gun inside. You want to first of all put the machine gun inside the first person here. Oh. You first of all want to put it inside the first person camera. So then that'll make, and I'm going to scale it down a little bit more. That's plenty. So, now you want to compile it and control save. And now you, yeah, make sure it's on the first person camera. So then it'll, so then it'll like move with the first person camera. Now that looks awesome, that looks perfect. But it still can't shoot. You gotta go to the event graph. Whoa, my event graph, graph is glitched. Okay, when that stops from uh, someone who's, what the, whoa, whoa, that got moved off, that's weird. Okay, so now that you're on the event graph, you want to make a new, you want to scroll over here for where there's a new one. 
and then right click and yeah, and click left mouse button or whatever key you want to shoot with. Whatever key you want to shoot with. Whatever key works for you. So, like if you want to have F to shoot, but I wish I don't know why you would, but if you want to. And now you got to drag out from pressed and click and type spawn emitter at at lo location and then the template will be an explosion or whatever you want and then drag up from location and type in location and then whatever yours is called I'm gonna do location machine gun and now what I like to do is drag out again and then do spawn emitter at location one more time and then do the same location thing Okay, location, machine gun, or whatever you called yours. And then I like to do smoke. Or if you don't want to follow the tutorial, you can do whatever you want for the template thing. Yeah, you don't have to completely copy me. And then drag it out if you want. And then compile it. And then do control S. Let's save. There now when you click play, when you click, it fires. But you but you wanna make you can also make a bullet and it goes in front of the machine gun. Whoa, glitchy glitch. There's a go yeah, I know how to fix that. You just play and then I'm playing. So what you could do if you don't see how tall long it get we can do another one. We can do another part. So if you wanna you can add a bullet, a sphere. You can add a sphere and then scale it down to how... And then scale it down to how big a real bullet would be. Or at least one that's fitting in your gun. At least one that's like... Well, let's turn off scaling. You can have it whatever you want, way you want, but I'm going to turn off scaling. I like, I like scaling for something. And then you can rename it to... You, you can rename it to bullet or whatever you want. And then choose a material. I like to have a metal material. I like to have the metal chrome one. And then now you compile that, and then save it. I'll go to the craft just so it's home ready. And now you you delete the socket location for both of them. You delete the socket location for both. Oops. You delete the socket location for both and then type location bullet because it's changed to location bullet. So click, or it's changed to bullet. So click get socket location. And now you do it for the same, you do the same thing for this one. Location bullet. And then click get socket location. Now compile that. Control S. I'll minimize that so it's faster. Oh, one last thing. You notice how the bullet's there? Yeah. You gotta go and and uncheck visible so search visible because that way it won't like always it won't glitch out because that way there will be two coming out of each other and they'll get stuck so what you want to do is compile it and control save and now it shoots and it's a little far, far away from the gun but you can you can change how far it is by moving the bullet away from them. you can change how far it is by moving the bullet away from the gun so you can turn visible mode back on again if you want to see it, but I'm fine. And then you compile and control S. And I don't need to demonstrate this part. You already know basically what it's gonna be. It's gonna be that it, that the that the firing thing is. You're not afraid. The firing thing is farther away from the gun now than it was. And what I like to do finally is highlight all of the code for the thing.
and then do and then type whatever comment you want but I like to do weapon weapon and this is of course a basic weapon because basic because because it doesn't shoot the projectile out of the end of the gun yet I have to figure out how to do that I have to find out how to do that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. We have a shooting gun now. Woo so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next, the next video, whatever that is. Bye.